Hello everyone and welcome back to Outdoor Adventure. In today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about my rad wagon issues. So I've had the rad wagon for about a year now. It's been an awesome bike, I, I still love it, but I had the first really big issue with it. I operate a rental fleet here in Southern Utah. We do electric bike rentals outside Zion National Park. So I had a customer renting one of my rad wagons and they called me and said they had a rear flat. And when I checked it out, I took the tire aisle apart and you can see this really big hole in the tube. Definitely unpatchable, I'm not gonna be able to fix that. Then as I further inspected it, you can see in the tire tread right here, it just blew through the sidewall of the tire. So I contacted Rad to get a replacement tube and tire. I was able to get the tubes, but they didn't have any tire treads of their own product, which is really disappointing that they sell a product that they don't even have replacement parts to. And they told me to go to a third party. I was able to actually send my brother to a Rad storefront and they had one tire tread left. So I just got the package and we're gonna get ready to replace the rear tire on the Rad wagon. I'm sure a lot of other people have had this issue, so this is just videos gonna be showing you how to replace the back tire. I've never done it before, so it's gonna be a learning experience for me as well. But follow along and let me know if you guys have had this problem with the Rad Wagon. I know they had a recall on the front tire, but I never had any issues with the rear tire at all. So I got my Rad Wagon all propped up. I already got the tire off, so I just gotta take this rim off and then get it onto the new tube and tire. Here's the box that I got from my brother. So we got three of these replacement tubes. They're 22 by three, which is a really odd size. It's custom from Rad. So you can't find these really anywhere else as far as the tube goes. And then this is the tr replacement tread. And I'll link it in the description below. If you can't get this tread, where to get the, um, the third party option. Alternatively, you could try to stretch a tube and try to get it on here, but I think your best bet is to get the tubes from Rad and then get the tread from a third party if you can't get it from Rad. All right, I'm gonna start by taking this bolt off. It takes a 18 millimeter wrench and then just remembering the way it went on. It's gonna be the key here. So I'm gonna need an Allen head to take this one off. All right, I got this side off. Now time for the other side. All right, so that happened. I guess to make sure to have it on a good stand. All right, I'm gonna inflate the tube and get it on the rim. Let's see if we can get this tread on. All right, so I was having some issues getting the tread onto the rim here. But what I started doing is I have this little tool. You can use a flathead screwdriver and just kind of popping it in as I inflate it. Aha. Got it. All right, I decided to flip this thing upside down to make it a little easier. I'm having trouble getting the chain back into this place, but I think it's making it a little easier to drop the tire in.
All right, so I think I got it fixed. Pretty excited right now. I'm gonna go give it a little test ride and then add some goo to the tires, see how we did. I hope this video helped you today if you're having troubles installing a Rad Wagon tire. If you're looking to order any Rad Power bikes or bike accessories, check my affiliate link in the description below. It really helps out the channel.